Oh my god, uh, this is crazy you have this stuff. Hello. <laughs> I'm about to open this up. I feel like the queen. She gets these boxes every, every week. Right, oh my god. Okay. <sighs> first of all is this, Beauty. This is my first album. Always find it very weird to see this and to hold it still to this day. But I mean, Joe, you know what, as an album, it was, it's, I can't believe I was 21 when I did it, you know? And I, I, it's quite funny because at the time I thought I felt very, I thought I'd experienced a lot of things when it came to love and life, but I had no idea <laughs> at all. I really like uh, sitting down and look mum no hands while you, uh, how do you know that? While you, uh, wrote it. How do you know that? <laughs> That's mad. Um, <laughs> Look, Mum Hands is a coffee shop opposite where I wrote this, where coffee was like a drug to me during the whole time. I'd just go and neck like five coffees and write the record. Mm. How do you know this, you creep? <laughs> 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 it's kind of... <laughs> Joe, it's actually got some very... I've got some odd memories of this. I used to just sing Joyful Joyful in the shower every day. And I think everyone seeing Lauren Hill in this was... Um, it was life changing, I think, for for every singer. Yeah. I love this. Can I actually keep this? You can keep everything in this box. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. <laughs> I feel like you're living inside my brain. This is Chuck Close. Chuck Close. I went to a gallery and I saw this up massive and I took a picture of it. And I kind of wanted to base my second album cover on the picture. I wanted to look a bit like life had like hurt me. <laughs> life had been through me, I should say. Okay. Okay. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Yeah. Avatar. Oh my God. That's crazy. This is weird how much you know me. I listen to this in the bath. Really? Yeah, I do. It's really weird. I kind of, I wish I was an avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, oh my God. Oh dear God. This is, <laughs> oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Oh my God, look at how camp I was. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was the campus child. These pictures are from, I went, I used to do musical theater as a kid. Yes, yeah, my school enrolled me into it one year. Um, it was a really amazing time for me because it was the first time I met like queer people. I like just met people who were like-minded, who just liked singing and dancing and stuff. So it was a very gay old time. I had the best time doing O'Carroll. Sam was amazing to it, and it was a really obvious back then that they were going to have an incredible music career. I played their girlfriend in the show and had to do a duet number with Sam. One of my favorite memories was Sam wrapping themselves in the duvet and singing Dreamgirls. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, you have this stuff. And last but not least. Oh. This is that old when people watch you open presents. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, I actually haven't opened this, so I don't know what's going to say. Oh, don't. He's trying to make me cry. This is my singing teacher. My first ever singing teacher, who I still am in contact with now. Oh, I won't read this. Because <laughs> I probably will cry. So this is, jo that's, this is Joanna Eden. Um, these are her records. And she, um, my dad, uh, when, he, when I was eight, he um, heard me singing and um, he sent me to singing lessons and um, he didn't want me to just go to any singing teacher and he found this, she's a jazz singer. She just taught me how to sing, basically. Everything I've ever learned was from her and then she wrote these beautiful songs, this album especially, and I, it inspired me to start writing music as well. She's literally the reason for my career. So that's so sweet.